Hello everyone, welcome back to a new, possibly final episode of Panzer Paladin. If I have to make this one a little bit longer to make sure it's the final episode, then I shall. So, looks like we move slower on this goop stuff, weirdly enough. Okay. Eh. Well, I guess it's not weird, it is goop, but I kind of expected it to stop my ability to jump as well, but it seems like we're fine in that. So, that's good at least. Oh jeez, I fell. Oh jeez, I fell again. I gotta make sure I don't hit my head on the top of these platforms. There we go. Go away, bat. But yeah, hopefully this is the final episode because I do have some other things coming out soon that uh, I'm wanting to play. So I'm trying to finish off Panzer Paladin here so I can focus on those things. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see we can finish it. Here's hoping. Oh, we kind of slide on this goop, too. And know that. Because I stopped there, but I kept moving a little bit. But yeah, Panzer Paladin's been a pretty fun little adventure, besides a few gripes. So I'm not trying to rush it for that reason or anything, it's just... Yeah, I do have some other things coming up that uh, are going to be played. So hopefully these last two levels are fairly simple. I thought I could just walk past that. It looked like it was in the background yet again. There's also a thing I haven't even touched on with uh, this game before. I did not mean to fall all the way down here, but whatever. Um, you can make your own weapons in this game. You can also download your own weapons from the workshop, which I've never done because I'm a terrible designer, so it would be pointless. But yeah, the idea that you can get your own weapons is pretty cool. I mean, I don't really think... I mean, I'm sure people could make, like, the, uh, a really good weapon with, like, the best combination of abilities in the game or something like that. So I don't really, but I don't really think it'd be game-breaking. It'd mostly just be for the prestige of having, like, one of your favorite weapons or something. Alright, let's put some stuff that's hurt in here. Like, you... I actually don't even know if you can repair, like, boss weapons. I feel like I've tried this before and it just hasn't worked. Okay, no, it, it did. Okay, so it, it did repair it a little bit. It's just Lilith's Pontiard never gets repaired, but uh, the Spear did get repaired there, so I'm not sure what the difference between those two are. Maybe it only repairs, like, one item, not all? I was under the impression that it repaired, like, all of your items. Ooh, I see you. No, you don't. Boom. Uh, do we have a Spear? Spear, Spear, Spear. Got a Stiletto. And give me that. Yeah. So we got a Seeks. It's a okay weapon, I guess. <laughs> what about here? Aha! I don't even know what that is. But it's a weapon. Ow! I, I, my brain just auto completed that to the goop, not spikes. But uh, yes, it's spikes. Ow. Just getting beat up here, Jesus. Okay, there we go. Well, so far the level's not too bad, which I'm down with, if that's the case. I wonder how bad the final boss is going to be. That's what I'm really worried about. Like, final boss material in this game, I don't even know what that's going to look like. But I'm terrified of it. I still never did quite get down uh, parrying in this game. I feel like that'd be a pretty useful skill to learn, but at the same time, I just... Like... I can't tell when I get it and when I don't. Because there's like a sound effect that plays, but I'm not sure if that's the sound effect for getting a parry or not. So I'm just not really sure when I do manage to pull it off. Hello. What's to deal with you? I mean, I get an extra life if I do this, but also there's a very good chance I die. So no, I don't want to. <laughs> Goodbye. I will not be taking that one up. I don't- I mean, I don't even need it anyway, really, since I'm on easy, I have five lives. Unless this level just gets ridiculously hard, all of a sudden. Which is still possible. What's the point in going down there? Oh, there's a heal. Okay. Well, down there we go. I wonder how many of these I've been missing on various levels. Because I always complain about there not being enough of the uh, Panzer heal points, but maybe I've just been missing them because they're hidden in the ground like that a lot. 
I wouldn't be surprised. That's for sure. Hey, you. Oh, okay, spider didn't care. I didn't even see what weapon I got there because I was too focused on uh, that spider. Alright, it feels like we should be coming up on the checkpoint fairly soon. What is this, an iron knuckle? I'm just gonna jump past you, man. I don't have time. Alright, yeah, here's the checkpoint. Cool. Alright, so that first bit wasn't too bad. Let's see... I want to put in here... The short sword might be good. Do I have a dirk, though? Is that a dirk? No, that was Chris. Okay, there we go. There's a dirk. Always the best weapon to put in there. Alright, second half of the... Oh, yeah, I forgot. We gotta fight this jackass. <laughs> This fight happens so much and it never changes that I honestly feel like I should just, like, cut out this fight sometimes, which is weird. Like, you wouldn't be like, oh, I feel like I should cut out the Black Knight fights in, uh, Shovel Knight, but here I am in this, feeling like I should cut this out. It's just not any different ever, really. And he's not even particularly difficult. I usually just take a bunch of damage just because I'm tired of fighting him. Neat weapon, though. Let's go ahead and break this. There we go. Alright, second half of the level, what you got for me? Oop. Okay. The bat wasn't even gonna hit me. Yeah, you want some of this bayonet? Stab, stab, stab. Seems like just a very froggy and bat stage. That's just, that's all the enemies, mostly. Which I guess makes sense. We are in canals. So. Oh, I can just drop here and get this. Okay. Yeah, let's just do that to evade those briars that are right there. At least that's what they look like to me. There we go. And poke, poke, poke. Man, I've been playing too much carry and I saw that little, like, pipe right there and I thought I could squeeze myself into it. <laughs> If anybody is watching this and watching Kyrian at the same time, you'll know what I'm talking about, but... Yeah. That's basically how you get to new levels in Kyrian. Okay, your reach is way too long, dude. I'm just going right past you. His reach was outrageous. Wait, really? Just a small heal for this thing? It's not even that good of a weapon. Okay. Weird. Well, we're gonna use this. It's not, it's not even that strong of a weapon, and it only gives me a small heal, which uh, I could use right now. It is a very long weapon, I'll give it that. Which has its own benefits. I like that. I could die here. Just uh, making sure everyone knows. Oh, jeez. Okay. There we go, we made it. <laughs> I thought for sure that uh, Grit was going to go down there, but luckily he did not. Ooh, we got a lot of fire here. Okay, I need to crouch right here. Okay, and then we need to run, crouch. This is quite a nasty little hallway. Why is there so much fire coming out of the pipes underground? Okay, I wasn't sure if that was going to reach me or not. Luckily, it did not. Oh, jeez, that would have been bad if that uh, fish had actually hit me. But we're lucky. Okay. Still kind of worried about Grit's health. But... Hmm. Okay, we're still good. Hello. What is... What is this? Okay, it's just... That. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess we want that. Let's go ahead and grab it. I mean, it's a free weapon. Why not? Uh, where's that one thing I was using? Did it go away? It's like a weird person holding a weapon? Did I actually destroy it and just totally forgot? I guess I did. Oh well. Let's use... Let's use this. It has long range. Okay, so grit won't really matter here because this is a flame section, so... And it is an instant death flame section. There we go. 
Because we fall in those spikes, we are dead. They one hit you, which is just dandy. Can you jump high enough to hit that spider? I don't know if you can. There we go. You can if it comes close enough. Okay, this bat is going to be an absolute jerk, and there's nothing I can do about it. Like, that, that bat is just sitting there, poised to screw me up. Yep. Okay, luckily I damage boosted through by taking the hit from the bat. I'm definitely, definitely, uh, pretty sure that's not what the... Um, definitely pretty sure is an oxymoron, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not what the developer intended there. Just damage boost through, but hey, it worked for me. I fell right into the spikes, but I was immune to damage. Okay. Yeah, screw you, man. Let's... Can I break that? No. Alright. Well, we made it through this level's flame section, which is always a challenge. So, here we go. Now we've made it to the boss. Let's go ahead and grab a dirk. And slap it in here. Alright, I only have half HP, so I'll probably just throw this attempt. Uh, get some experience. Well, I mean, I won't throw it, but I'll just get some experience fighting you. Warning. Alright. Oh, it's Charon. Hey, buddy. We're friends in Hades, you know that? Do I have to hit your, like, paddle? Your oar? Okay, no, you come up here. Uh, do those things give me curse? No, they just do damage. Okay, well that was a pretty decent amount of your health. All things considered. Ow. Ooh, okay, we, we actually got pretty close. Ow. Okay, now I'm in here. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's fine because we did we did a great job there actually. So let's just give ourselves a stronger weapon so we can just wail on him uh, as need be. And do we have an attack up? Attack up. We have a scimitar. We have two. We only have two attack ups, so I actually think I'm gonna do this boss without an attack up. Just to try and save my attack ups for the boss that mat for the bosses that matter. Because this guy seems really, really easy actually. So I don't think I need the attack up for him. Alright, Kalron. Kalron, as they say it in uh Hades. He's the uh shopkeeper in Hades if you've ever heard of that game. That's big damage. Just, just smack. Just keep smacking. I find, I feel like dodging them is just going to take more time when I could just be smacking. Oop. Oh, okay, his, his ore stays there for a few seconds, so he did manage to get a hit in on me. Oh, we bounced off of him. Ow. I just... Yeah, okay. I was wondering if I could just bounce on his head, but it seems like they kind of throw you off to the side if you do that, so that you can't just cheese him by just bouncing on his head constantly. But hey, we got the paddle. The ore, as it were. Whichever one you want to call it. I actually think he smacks you around with his ore in uh, Hades as well. So maybe that's just what, uh, what uh, K-Ron does in uh, Greek Mythos. Maybe he just maybe he just slaps people around with oars. Okay, I'm thinking maybe this is the last level and then we get to the boss fight, I guess. The final one, perhaps? Mayhaps? Here's hoping, because I would like to finish this today. Would very much enjoy that. Alright, what you got for me, Catacombs? Um, I'm liking the music that's playing right now. Pipe wrench, k or Yeah, let's go ahead and put some Falchions and stuff in. Are these gonna, like, yeah, that's what I was wanting to test. So those fall away. I gotta be careful with that. These are falling platforms. Okay, I did manage to block that. No, you don't. You're not hitting me. And 
you die. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, makes sense that there'd be a lot of you guys in here. Yeah, that's all that hiding up there. Just a free spear. Nope. Uh, I guess it wants me to jump off right here? Yeah. Uh, what can we bring in? I, mean, I could bring in the Dragon Guando and the Witch's Pestle. Okay, it seems it repaired them a little bit. That's fine. Okay, so... Let's get... Yeah, let's get the Chris out. I don't think I'm ever really going to use the Wings spell. Although I might want to because there is a... Uh, achievement dedicated to using all of the spells in the game, so... Okay, this is a pain. You wanna come over here, sir? No? Alright, so the only way to attack you is to get you to come, uh, to do that, and then I just backdash and hit you during the opening. That's why they put the the ceiling of, of spikes above your head, so I couldn't just dash past you. <laughs> hey, thanks for the honestly insane-looking weapon, though. That is, uh, welcome. Haha, you missed. Nerd. That looks like a secret over there, but I think we're fine. There we go. This Chris has uh, quite a lot of range, actually. I like it quite a bit. There we go. That's one room down. One big room, we should say. Because yes, that was a very large room. We gotta backdash through those. It looks like somewhere I can go. No, okay, there's a ceiling. Woo! Okay, I'm running. Sorry. Oh wow, we haven't seen you in a very, very long time. And let's just run. There we go. Yeah, I do wonder what the layout of some of these levels would look like if I was on normal mode still, because I did see that they did add and remove enemies, depending. There we go. I just got another one of these skull maces. Huh. They seem pretty strong. Oh boy. Here's our flame section of the day. Let's see, if I sit, like, right here, yeah, I should be fine. There we go. Cool. Alright, here's where things get a bit hairier, though. Okay, I'm fine. Alright. Now we just gotta time our attacks against you. There we go. I see one of the, like, little flying demons down here. Okay, completely healed myself there. Okay, cool. I can just go down here and get my paladin back. Alright, that was a pretty easy little, uh, section for, um, flame. Wasn't too bad at all. Smack. Smack. Ooh, you guys died in one hit. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think I care too much about getting that, uh, like, cleaver up there. Can I hit you? I can. Cool. So far, so good. Yeah, we're already at the halfway point, which is a good, good sign. So, where's my dirt? There it is. Alright, Skull Mace, let's go. Oh, Jesus. I, I always forget I, got I, I have to fight him. <laughs> Can't you switch things up, Horseman? Can't you switch things up? And it's just weird because he doesn't come back if you lose him, so lose to him, so it just feels pointless. Like it doesn't even add a little bit of extra difficulty to the level. It's just like, no. If you don't beat him, he just he goes away. Oh well, he's dead now. Thanks for the weird weapon. You always give me weird weapons. Okay. Yeah, those things that those things take two hits, so they were gonna be annoying no matter what. Okay, what's happening down here? Just run, I guess. 
Oh shit. Well, that was my fault. My head hit the ceiling kind of there. And it uh, screwed up my entire descent right into an endless death pit. See, I don't really mind it if it's if they do that kind of stuff rarely, but it's when they do it like like they have an entire room full of just help. If you die, you go back to who knows where. That's when it's annoying. There we go. I think that's what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to drop and then do an up jump. So not too bad. Just stand here to block these. Oop. Okay, managed to block that one. Ow. Jerk. This is a beam spear. I was realizing I was just using the weapon I got from the horseman. And uh, I was wondering if it was, like, really good or something. Ooh, it does do 40 damage, actually. Okay, away you go. We're gonna get back to our skull maces. I was wondering why it one-hit that one enemy. Okay, you're easy to fight now that I know how to fight you. So, let's just cheese you out. Do you get hit by the spikes? I don't think so. This is such a simple fight. It reminds me of, uh... Although, Iron Knuckles are not as simple a fight in Zelda, but it reminds me of an Iron Knuckle. Like, his design and everything. Which is a very cool design. Ow. Hey you, die. Ow. Ran into the plant. And got hurt. Whoop. Oof, just barely. Had enough time to take it out. Slap, slap. There we go. I feel like those guys drop weapons just more often than everybody else. And I don't know why. Okay, this will work. We get like a grand lance. Look at this thing. It's a big old lance. I hope it's a good weapon. I would like it for it to be. Oh, jeez. Okay, later, dude. <laughs> I'm just not fighting those guys. They seem like really scary, so I just don't want to. Because their range is just ridiculous. Their weapon is so long. Okay, we just got a baby spear for that. Yeah, sure. There we go. Just go ahead and do a little uh, screen nuke. Oh no. We have another flame section. And this one is even more dangerous. Oh boy, that was close. That was really close. Oh, I did not feel safe with that one. And I feel even less safe with this one. Okay, I think I see what I gotta do. I gotta kinda lure it out, then jump. Like that? Yeah. Okay, cool. We did it. Here's our Panzer Restore Point. There we go. Whew. Yeah, that, that particular one was was spooky, but I kind of took my time and made sure I knew a solution before I actually made the jump, and that seemed to work out. Something I really should be doing a bit more often. All right, cool, we made it. Where's my dirt? Yeah, I'm um, see, these levels feel much more balanced than like Tanzania and stuff did. Because Tanzania just had the bottomless pits all over the place. But not this one. Alright, this feels like an attempt I could definitely win. Um, so... We have a defense up. I'm not sure if I need it yet. Um... Let's see, there's an attack up. Let's just go in with the Skull Mace at first. Yeah, let, let's not use either of our attack up or anything weapons. Hi. What the hell are you? What are you? Be all diesel bub. Okay, diesel bub. Can't take these blocks. Oh jeez. Oh man. Give me that back, please. I need that. Uh, give it in. Okay. Whew. Okay. It does look like he drops it at least. Oh no. <laughs> nope. Aha! You can't evade it. Okay, you're a very, very annoying boss to fight. I'll give you that. 
You're also very dangerous because you take my paladin away from me. There we go. Got a free hit there. Okay, I didn't know if that was going to be the bag or not because he kind of reared back. I was a bit scared. I get a free hit on him when he comes across here, though. What are you doing? Oh, that's what he's doing. Um, okay. Wasn't prepared for that. I guess we just kind of move. Aha! There you are. A little bit more damage and he'll go down. Alright, you coming from the top again? Nope, you're gonna do this thing. Yep, there you go. Alright, now just stay in the middle, it seems. Is what you're supposed to do here. Alright, not too bad. Come on, one more hit. Ah, I didn't know he was going to fly across like that. Gotcha. There we go. Whew. Alright, well that worked out. Let's go ahead and switch this out. So I don't forget. Because that thing's almost broken, and that's a defense up, so I don't want to lose it. Alright, we're at 27 minutes on the recording so far, and... I think we may have, like, one more level left. But it's the final level. Or the final boss fight. So where are we going? Yep. Okay, that's at the bottom, like the mouth. Okay, the Spirit Forge. Is this it? Let's see. At last we meet. Get ready for a fight, you feathered creep. Such a lust for battle, like your predecessor, like myself. For eons, I have made weapons for the dark princes of the universe. All so they could fight against each other in great cosmic wars. You've proven yourself a great wielder of my weapons. Fight at my side. What? You're not born of flesh, you are a weapon yourself. We can overthrow the princes of the cosmic realm, rule the starways. Or you can perish under my blade. That blade's gonna feel real bad when I break your beak with it. Let's fight. Alright. Final boss fight time, I guess. Whew, am I ready? I don't, I don't know, actually. Are we just gonna hop into the fight too? Like, can I not use any buffs or anything? I'm gonna have to use them in battle. Oh no, there's a full level. Okay. I thought for a second there that we were just gonna be hopping into a uh, boss fight, basically. But no. Sadly, no. It can't be that easy, can it? Uh, short sword, conda. Okay, these are all good. Well, well no, not except for the defense up. I don't want to use that. Pipe wrench. That's what I want to use. Defense up is too good to just waste. Okay, so we do have a final level. Oh, great. And it has the curse mechanic, too. How rude. Great. I think I may have some blessing weapons, though. I mean, of course it has the ble the curse mechanic. Why the hell wouldn't it? Wait, is there more I could get up there? No. There we go. Ugh. I hope I don't run into that curse mechanic too much. Because it's such a pain to deal with. But at least we're on easy. So it won't be as bad. Go away. Thank you. Ooh, I bet that lava kills me if I land in it. Uh, what are you? You just throw those things at me? Well, later. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the screen now, if you don't mind. Goodbye. I remember you being pretty easy. Eh, wasn't too bad. Alright, now just some of you. So far, so good. 
I'm not super worried about what's being thrown at me yet. Okay, what I really don't want is for this guy to hit me while I'm on these platforms. Okay. Whew. There we go. Just drop. There we go. Get away from that guy. Smack. Alright, you little, like, first evolution of a Pokemon. Watch out. <laughs> I find the, um... Usually, uh, like, the, if there's, like, a lizard Pokemon, usually, like, the some of the evolutions are, like... Well, I guess this doesn't really apply with Charmander. I was gonna say, usually it feels like they're always on four legs, but then as they evolve, they go up to two. Um, but no, Charmander starts at two legs. I guess Charmander is, uh, different. Okay, that's a blessing weapon. I definitely want to keep that. We, we want that. Uh, Spear is defense up. I'm gonna want that too, so let's take the Conda back out, and sure, a Bayonet. Whew. Gotta scratch my nose there for just a second. What is the deal with these things? They almost seemed like the things in, um, I think it was Shovel Knight that had them, where as they spin, you kind of fall off. And if you're not careful, you fall into the lava. So, I jumped across them just to be safe. Because I'm not taking any chances. Props to them for uh, actually putting uh, blessed weapons uh, on the level where they have curse this time. There you go. There you go. Okay, you, you leave that spear sitting there for way too long. He almost knocked me into the fire. <laughs> that would have been such a depressing way to die. Okay, so these are basically just conveyor belts. They're not what I thought they were. Shovel Knight had like these weird 3D things that will just like slowly spin you into the lava. Kind of like a uh, spinning log, I guess. There we go. Uh, thunder and deflect. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Okay, we got more curse on this screen. Which I don't like to see, but we do have some blessing weapons if we need it. Let's go ahead and grab one for when I inevitably get... Uh, cursed. Um, do we only have one? Jeez, I have a lot of weapons. Yeah, Durandal. Okay, we just have two Durandals, so I'm gonna have that chilling there. Okay, goodbye. Hopefully this is all it is. They're just kind of coming across... Oh, no. Yep, here's a platforming section up here that we're gonna have to deal with. Okay. Managed to take you out. Alright, I don't actually see the curse uh, things anymore, which is good. Yep, nope, spoke too soon. Here I was uh, getting all excited. Yep, there we go, I'm cursed. Okay, so let's hit you, and let's break a Durandal. Huh. Does that also make us immune to curse too, now that we're blessed? That'd be very nice if so. I would, uh, really like that. Hey, now we know. I think that's another Durandal I just got. Die? Okay, let's just get to the other screen. I'm tired of dealing with all of you. Alright. Slap. Slap. Okay, we got him. Uh, fantastic. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Okay, we're good. Um, do you reach here? I don't think so. I think I can just safely hit you. Yeah. Okay, we just gotta be very careful. There. Okay, okay, cool. And that's it. And we get a free heal. Good, 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 good. Yes, progress is being made, everyone. We're doing it! I just very unceremoniously just murdered that poor lad. Goodbye. Okay, that's the first checkpoint. We got it. Uh, where's my dirt? My kingdom for a dirt. There we go. Cool. Alright, we got absorb. Oh, yeah. Forget, forgot about this. This idiot. <laughs> 
still fighting me, huh? On every every other time I can I can see an enemy, I just like go to the other side of the screen. Why can't I do that with you? Why can't I just leave the room? Not even bother. You're a waste of time. Okay, there we go. Down you go. Give me your probably shit weapon. Okay, no, it's a medium heal, so it's useful for that. Let's go ahead and put that, uh... It says burger skewer? It is a burger. What the hell? It's weird. Alright. What are you? You're a badass looking spear. Uh, I, I would fall that way, but I'm scared. You're hitting the wrong way, sir. I didn't know what was down here, so I was kind of scared I would fall into a pit or something if I just took a blind jump. And, uh, I'd ideally not like to die, so... Oh, cool, I can just completely avoid this guy if I take the platform over here. Oh, wait, no. Oh, jeez. That was a bad idea. Okay. Okay, you know what? Huh. How can I kill you? Does this kill you? That damaged you once. Uh... Let's see, is there anything I have in here that I could just keep throwing at him to kill him? There's... Burst... What does Burst do? Alright, that's Beam. Oh, that just gives me that. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, um... I didn't know that was just going to immediately kill my... Paladin. Well, I'm going down here. I was just trying to kill this guy. Oh! I thought- I thought I could squeeze through there. Okay. Okay, we learned. We learned. I thought I could squeeze through that little one-by-one one gap if I was flame, but I didn't want to try it. Because then I would have to leave my paladin behind. Uh, but no. You cannot squeeze through there. Let's get these things back out. Uh, and get off of Durandal. Okay, at least we weren't too terribly far into the level, but, uh... I'm kind of really confused about what exactly, uh, the solution is to that particular issue. Because, uh, that's a very, very annoying enemy. Let's just keep pushing him back. Which seems to be the best way to handle this. Slap, slap. Slap, slap. There we go. Yeah, that's what I should have just done before. Okay, so get me across. There we go. <clears throat> I was just trying to get fancy and break weapons to try and cheese him out. And, uh, that wasn't the- Damn it! Really? I just- I kind of slid into that, like, wall of lava. And it killed me. Okay, well now we're flame. Oh jeez. I'm scared there. Ow! Stop that. I don't like it. Okay, I'm not getting that, that's for sure. Okay, we can kill this enemy like this. Who knows how long we're gonna have to go with just flame here. Oh, jeez. Yep. I saw it too late. I saw it too late. I jumped across, and I saw it too late. Oh god, please. I can't believe you can just immediately lose your paladin by slipping into, like, a wall of lava. It's just like, nope, paladin gone. Get fucked, I guess. Now I gotta do this, like, tedious little fight over here with this jackass again. Honestly, yeah, just take the hits. I'd rather this be faster and lose some health, because... Uh, the big danger here is just losing my paladin completely, not... Uh, taking chip damage from various enemies, so screw it. I'll just take the hits to make that fight a little bit faster. See, so yeah, I died here last time because I kind of rushed over here, where apparently you gotta be really careful to make sure you don't hit that stupid thing. Okay. There we go. Uh, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh wait, the paladin can just walk on water? I mean, lava? Why? 
wait, why can I- why can I- no, 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 that's just dumb. Oof. Why can I not walk into the side of lava, but I can stand on lava? Why? What- what reason is there for that? I don't understand. I can not walk into the side of it, but I can stand on it? Weird. Uh, just get me past you, man, please. I just really don't feel like dealing with you. I wonder if that's a bug, actually, that I could just walk on the lava there. Because that doesn't seem intended. Oh, jeez. That was almost bad. Okay. Just get me over here. Okay, you're just gonna guard those stairs, huh? No, you don't. Back away. There we go. Okay, this is our more uh, defense spears. I want to keep those, probably. Hmm. Bottle? Excuse me? What's a frying pan do? Durability up? Yeah, that can go away. And another conda. Sure. Let's put the Durandal up, actually. For now. If I get cursed. No, I guess I could just break one of their Durn Dolls now to get the blessing. No, let, let's wait until I actually get cursed. If I get cursed. Now. Yep, there we go. We're cursed. Um, so where was it? Durn Doll. Yeah. There we go. Yep, and now I'm no longer cursed. Cool, cool. And, yeah, so now we're just- oh, jeez. I didn't realize that was- I, I was trying to go down that as my paladin, but, uh, I can't. Oh boy, this is spooky. Uh, jump, 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 and jump. That was scary. I didn't like that one bit. No, you don't. Just go away somewhere else. Thank you. And allow me to get to my stupid paladin. Aha! I had iframes, and now I'll beat you to death with a frying pan. <laughs> okay. Is this it? Is this it? Is my suffering at an end? Could it be? Or is it merely a trick of the light? Okay, we have three lives. Um, let's see, we gotta... We're doing pretty good on health, and I do have a lot of, like, defense up weapons and attack up weapons and such, so... I think we're safe to go ahead and blow a few here. Let's see, we have one, two... Um, we're doing okay. We only have two attack up weapons, so... I'm fine popping a uh, defense up, but otherwise I'll just use a powerful weapon. So, defense up, and let's go. <clears throat> is. Warning. Is that- is that bridge gonna, like, give way into the lava at some point? Ravenous. Ow. Okay. You seem fairly simple so far. Ow. You hit me quite hard, though. Nope. You seem very similar to the, uh, horseman, actually. Nope. Ow. Ow. That's hard for me to dodge for some reason. Ow. Just keep smacking him. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's different. Come on. Just like one more hit. Got him. Okay, that can't be the final boss, right? Yeah, I was about to say. There's no way. Okay. Um... What am I supposed to be hitting here? I don't know what I'm supposed to be hitting here. It's not the hammers. Um... Uh... Oh, it's the eye here. 
Okay, okay. We need a big heal weapon. Um, there's a full heal. I only have a bunch of small heals, really. There's large heal. Medium heal. Burger skewer. Let's wait for a few seconds. Okay, let's just drop. Uh... Um... Do I pop all of my heals now? Or do I just wait? I don't know, I did a bunch of damage to him. And I still have my defense up. I'll use at least a... Medium heal. How about that? I will use the burger skewer. I'm a bit scared to do this, but... There we go. A little bit of HP. Okay, so we mostly just have to, like, dodge his attacks. Yeah, and then we get this. Okay, we get... we get big damage there. Um... No, you know what? No, we're, go we're going all in. We're gonna go all in. I think maybe we can do it. That's some big damage I'm doing. So, I think we might be able to do it. There we go. Okay. Just gotta pay attention to his attacks here and make sure I limit my damage as much as possible. Uh, ow. Okay, so the spear's on this side this time. Ow. Okay, no. Switch to... Storm Scepter. Okay. That was some pretty good damage, once again. Uh, should we go for the full heal? Um, I think we should. And I'll pop a defense up as well. And maybe an, even an attack up. Sworded sword. There we go. We're fully healed. And we have that. We have the Falcon next. There's my attack up. There's my attack up. And then I need a defense up. Spear. Let's go ahead and pop the defense first. Okay, and then the uh, attack. Jesus. Okay, now whale. I did it? Did I do it? Is that it now? Oh yeah! <laughs> Look at me, the guy having difficulty with the game on easy mode. Oh boy. Alright. Is that it? I think it might be. Ding, ding, ding. Um. How about you go away? Or are you happy that I won? Choose wisely what you wish to do with this weapon. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I imagine it's swinging it or breaking it. I'm going to break it. Uh, is that what was wanted? I broke it. Because that would be like breaking the cycle, right? If mankind tries to build new weapons, I'll return. We want to be better than that. We don't want to make weapons. Ain't that right, Grit? Yes. I'll be watching. Let's get out of here, Grit. Badass Super Saiyan Horse Man. Oh, we did it. In spite of it all, we're all quite proud of what you did, Flame. In spite of having to turn the game down the easy, ahem, our, our next order is... Your next order will have to wait. I have a mission of my own. And Grit's coming along with me. Rightly so. 
What are you going to do next? Something better. Hey, yeah, I'm tired of fighting and dying in endless pits. So you say you can rebuild the whole building structure on your own? Well, you're gonna rebuild. Sure, ain't that right, bud? Oh, I like that design of her. She's very cute. Affirmative. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him in his little construction hat. Yeah, I like that design for her. She looks cute there. Cool. Alrighty then, so they got a happy ending. I wonder if that's because I broke the weapon or not. Because I, I, I thought breaking the weapon would be like, no, I'm forsaking weapons now. And it seemed like the horseman was happy with me at the end, so... Hmm. Game design and art direction. There we go. So, guess now it's time to give my thoughts on Panzer Paladin. Um... I, I largely liked it, but like I said, there were just a couple of moments, a couple of parts that are like... It brings down the experience for me. Just some levels just were a bit too mean. Which may just be because I don't have much experience playing, like, Mega Man, I guess, which is what this is mostly based off of. Like, I've played Shovel Knight, I haven't really played a lot of Mega Man except for Legends, of course, which doesn't count because it's a 3D game. So, I would maybe have had an easier time with this if I had played something like that. But mostly I just play, like, Metroidvanias and stuff, so I guess I just don't have as much experience with this brutal platforming. I mean, I played Celeste, but that's a lot different. You respawn in the same room in that game, so... But yeah, I mean, that those particular bits were rough for me, but it largely didn't, like, hamper the good parts too much, because a lot of the levels were fine. But I will say the stress of hitting a flame section was was rough. Like, every single time I got out of my paladin and was flame, I was terrified. Which might have been what they intended, but it wasn't a fun kind of terrified. It was a, oh my god, if I die, I'm going to have to go back to the beginning of the level terrified. <laughs> so it was less like, I don't, I don't know, actually feeling vulnerable because I'm out of my paladin and more just feeling vulnerable because I really don't want to have to do the level again. The music was pretty good. It, I, I can't think of anything that I like super, super remember very, very well or anything like that, but the music was largely pretty good. Um, a lot of the weapon designs are really cool, and it is super, super neat that you can create your own weapons and kind of share them online and everything. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else. A lot of the boss designs were really cool, and a lot of the bosses were very, very fun to fight, besides you, Popobawa. So that was neat as well, and I did I did like the art and everything of the game. It was a very very pretty little game. I just like I said it it's very solidly at like a seven for me, not so much like an eight a nine or a ten, just because of the few things holding it back. But it was still very enjoyable. There was just a lot of stress that came with that enjoyment. So I guess that's really all I have to say about it. Can we skip the cutscene? I mean, the credits? Yeah, okay. So, did we unlock anything? The Remind store- the re- oh, I thought it said Remind. <laughs> I guess I've been seeing that too much from Kingdom Hearts. The Remix story and tournament modes are now unlocked. Try them out. Okay, so you do unlock some new things, so... And they even get new, uh... Main menu music, which is always really fun, so... I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Panzer Paladin and this LP of Panzer Paladin. And I will see you next time for something new.